Okay guys, welcome to the channel once more. Alright, so basically in this video what we're going to be looking at is how to create a a view project, a view.js project in WebStorm. That's the the JavaScript um the JetBrains ID. So they say it's a smart ID for JavaScript. Alright, so basically what we're going to well as I said, we're going to create a new project. So you just go to file and new you can just all you have to do is hover over it and you will see project so the project that we're trying to create is a view project so we can create pretty much all of these projects but the one that we're trying to create is a view project so we click on view all we have to do now is rename this thing and you cannot have any capital letters so you see you start complaining as soon as you write a capital letter so you can just say new project uh, I think I may have a new project already, so I'll just say new project uh, one. And then, as you can see, it, it's it picked up the node interpreter from the installation that we made before. So that's that's a video, that's a previous video on how to install the JetBrains IDE itself, Vue.js, Node.js, and uh, Git. So you can go ahead and watch that video. I'll leave a uh, link in the description. It's how to install Vue.js, Git, Web, um, WebStorm, and Node.js. So all you have to do now is just click Create, and this will get, tell you, um, ask you where you want to open the file. You can open it in this window, in your window. Or you can just attach it somewhere here or whatever. Um, I want to create it in a new window. So you can see a new window popped up. It's in it's reopening the files. What will happen now is it'll start to load on here in the term or this is not a terminal, but yeah, it's a um it's gen it's now generating the new project. When it's generated the files, you'll see the the files here. So let's get back um this one. You'll see all of these files, the node module the public the source you'll see the components all of these files as soon as it's it's finished it's finished loading however I, I i don't think i'm not sure if it will load because i don't have any internet connection at the moment sad i know i don't know what's wrong with my internet from about a hour ago or something like that all right so but this this was pretty simple as you can see all you have to do is click file new and project pretty simple and just click on view and create very simple but what if what if you're not inside here inside this area so basically let's get here and let's go ahead and terminate this thing i think let's see if i can delete this thing if i should go ahead and where is that delete? There's no delete option here. Hmm. Thought I could delete it. Hmm. Nope. Yep, here we go. Delete. Alright, so let's say we do not have this file. None at all whatsoever. Okay, so this thing is taking a time to clear off. And you want to create a new project so what will happen is that a a smaller window than this will come up a small window like the one that you would click for the create that window will come up and when that window comes up you'll see the options for for you to create a new project if i remember correctly you should it has the option to create a new project and has the option for the handler which would be git and that would be in the in the it will take the default for from the installation that we made and i think there was another option i'm not sure what it is i'm not i'm not sure i don't remember what it is at the moment but this thing i thought it would it would get rid of this already so i could show you but it's it's just been let's go uh, whatever yeah, so that's basically if that's basically how you create a project. Now it's even freeze. That's basically how you create a project. So 
if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section like share subscribe um hit that notification bell to never miss a post